joined up with a Christian fellowship uh, a ministry there. We had an office right along the main corridor. I'm in the fellowship office by myself, just reading. All of a sudden, I see somebody walks in to the door from the corridor. And I look over and greet him and say, hello. And he says, ah, hey, uh, looking for some Bible studies. So I got up. I said, right there along the wall, you could have, take anyone you want. He goes, oh, no, I have a copy of all those. And when he said that, I thought, that's a lie. We have 75 studies. He doesn't have a copy of every one. So he goes, okay, and he left. I said, okay, what do I do? Well, I'm thinking that somebody's going to come in and try and kill me. I went, moved to the furthest area from the door, and uh, sat down, and I opened up the Bible to this passage, 1 Corinthians 10, 13. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tested beyond what you are able, but with each test provide a way of escape. I think I memorized that verse right there. A few minutes later, a different guy comes up to the door. He's got this big, thick jacket, winter jacket on. He's got gloves on, and he's got a, a ski hat, beanie on. He walks up to the door, into the, like the doorway, jam, and stops and looks at me and then looks off over toward the, uh, his left is a doorway that led into a kitchen. He looked back at me and he left. He did that three times, three times. And then the guy, the first guy walked by. As he's walking by, he looked in and our eyes locked. He saw me sitting there and then they didn't show back up. So what do you see there that scared him off? Could have been an angel. I don't know. My angel, my protected angel, I don't know. And I don't make big thing out of angels and all that, but hey, who knows? Our God knows though. And he definitely protected me that day.